Good morning, my first day in South Korea and I'm in Gangnam. I feel like I should be doing some sort of horse dance right now. So far, Gangnam to me is like, it's like a Manhattan. It's really busy streets, a lot of shops, a lot of places to eat. Now I'm on my way to film my second video, Korean barbecue and Korean noodle soup. This place is legit. I had to take off my shoes and this is my table. The way you eat it is you take a piece of beef, and I have a steak here, Dip it in my salt and sesame, and I have some uh, raw onions here, so I made a little sum out of it. So exciting. <sighs> Holy cow, that was one of the most glorious things I've ever put in my mouth. between the cold Korean noodles in South Korea from the ones in North Korea. So now we're gonna have the South Korean cold noodles. Ah, oh, so nice and cooling. I feel like this is the perfect meal after you just had a bunch of meat. Just finished the Korean barbecue video and it took a while to the point where I think I'm like the only person left in this restaurant. So the soup, you know what this tastes like? It tastes like salt water. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. It just tastes like salt water. I really like the noodles so though. Really, really like that texture. The soup really doesn't add anything to this. It just it's, it's making the noodles slightly salty. That's all this the soup. I'm not even gonna call it soup. That's all the salt water is doing. Just got done filming the second noodle soup video, the North Korean noodle soup. That was literally, I mean, the watch my video if you want on, on Strictly Dumpling, but the noodles were good. The, it was just basically noodles in salt water. I don't know if that's, they like it that way where there's a lack of ingredients in North Korea, but. I mean, the soup itself is just horrendous. I'm at the Han River now at night, and it is beautiful. Good morning, very exciting day today, food-wise anyway. I'm gonna be going to a huge Korean buffet that only serves traditional Korean food. Now, I love buffets. I always hate it when you go to a new restaurant, you order off a menu, then you order the wrong thing, and you look over and the person beside you has a better thing than you do. That's called food regret, my friends, and you never get that at a buffet. I cannot fit another fish in my mouth. I had like 20 of them.
on my way to grab some street food and gonna take the subway. Check it out, I've just found all these little restaurants and boutique shops on the subway station. New York pizza, spicy cheddar chicken. This area is so awesome. All the restaurants seem to be really fancy, really nice. Everything is clean and bright. Look at this little um, rest area here. That's so pretty. I just saw a eatery with a name that speaks to my very soul. My very essence for being in this world. Villa the Spicy. I'm like the person the Spicy. Saw this cool uh, virtual reality setup. I'm gonna go on the Crazy Viking. That was insane. I did this, uh, it's like a spinning roller coaster thing. It literally felt like I was in that roller coaster. And if somebody told me to just jump out during the middle of this thing, I, I couldn't do it because it seemed so real. And the creepiest thing is, when you look to the side, there's people there, well, fake people. They look like video game zombies. But that was so realistic, and I actually feel kind of nauseous from that ride. Oh. I don't know if I can eat anymore. in San Francisco right now. I'm feeling it. I just wanna like lay down on this escalator. <laughs> Look how civilized these people are. This train hasn't come yet and everyone's lining up. This is New York literally is is like they won't even let people get out. Just push. These are pink seats and they're for pregnant people or people with uh, disabilities. And the subways actually have like luggage racks on top. This is really interesting. There's a sign on the window. Not that I can speak Korean, but someone told me this. Just like this one here. The sign indicates that that particular um, train cart is a few degrees warmer than the, all the other ones. So in case you're feeling a bit chilly, you walk into one of these. I wonder what will happen if I don't scan my card. Oh, oh, oh! It's catching me, it's catching me. All right. They put a deposit on this card. Um, now I gotta put this in, I'll get my deposit back. There it goes. And there's my deposit. So the deposit is a way to make sure that I return the card so I don't just toss it. This way, I guess, they save a lot of money by not having to create new cards. Hey, it's Chung Song Yi. That's not her real name. That's just her name, I think. Anyway, it's the first K-drama I've ever seen. It's complicated. I'm in this area called Myeongdong. There's a lot of Chinese people here. There's a lot of street food here. I would think it's kind of like, kind of like a night market, sort of. So I'm gonna go and get some street food. Korean street food. one of the most famous tea shops in Seoul. Green tea shops. Everything is about green tea. This is a green tea cheese tiramisu. It is made from clouds. 
and it might fly away if I don't keep it down. That thing is amazing. This is cold drip tea. I've heard of cold drip coffee, never cold drip tea, but this thing, this thing is awesome. It's like drinking holy tea elixir. It's probably one of the most refreshing, tasty teas I've ever had. Like, just a small sip. Oh, 